guys so today we've been trying to make bread i hope it comes out nicely so we have a cup of warm water i don't i have measuring cups but i don't know where they are so we're gonna use the measurements from that cup then we're gonna add a tablespoon of sugar we're gonna add sorry we're gonna add some salt approximately a tablespoon as well Okay, and then we're gonna add a tablespoon of yeast. Remember, this is warm water. You can leave it to rest for like 10 minutes, covered, and then we see what happens, okay? And then we're gonna add some oil after that. So here's my yeast. Um, actually, it is activated dry yeast, so it's good. So I'm gonna put uh, a tablespoon of oil the, this one is for those people who don't have the measuring cups and all that so and then we are gonna we are gonna add the now the two cups of flour okay so there's one cup we are gonna just stir it for a bit and I'm gonna add the other cup so this is French bread we are making I never made it before as from the name of my channel says it's a taste test cooking so let's put the other cup so we'll put little by little let's see if the recipe I'm following will just need two cups okay Okay. So I've added the la the other half. Okay, it's getting there. But I think we'll need more. Maybe half a cup or another cup. It's too wet. Okay. I've added another cup. So we are two and a half cups. We're at two and a half cups. I think the half will do. wet so add a little bit more at a time now so I ended up using the whole cup and as you can see it's pretty good it's not as sticky as it was so we are gonna let it sit for like 30 minutes then we'll roll it yeah so let's wait for an extra 30 minutes we're gonna add some oil at the top like a tablespoon that's enough just about a tablespoon I think it's perfect so we're gonna cover it up and we're gonna let it sit for 30 minutes so it's 30 minutes later as you can see it has risen and it's so soft so very soft so I'm gonna add some flour and knead it again like that it's so soft it feels so good actually so you can opt to put the the whatever at the top the oil that I did put or not you can omit that step if you want you can also opt to put uh, eggs if you want but I didn't put uh, eggs I just wanted a minimalist kind of bread 
yeah so that that's good enough so i'm gonna cut it into two i'm actually avoiding to use this table only because i don't want to spoil it so we need some flour so that doesn't stick need a rolling pin so I'm just gonna do it the old fashioned way like that like that and then I'm just gonna fold it in like so you don't want to overdo it so that's good enough I'm gonna put that aside and then I'm gonna take the other one and do like the way we did the other one so now we take an oiled uh, baking tray and then we put our our bread there okay like that spaced okay. then we're gonna cover it up for another 30 minutes now we're gonna wait for 30 minutes and we're gonna put it in the oven they've already risen see how good they look so i'm gonna add a few drops Oops, like that now I'm going to use my fingers. Make sure that your hands are clean. Okay, I'll be needing a little bit more. <laughs> Oops. So that it can be crispy on the outside and it's very soft so let's see how it's going to turn out it's all done So we are going to bake them um, for about 20 minutes, um, yeah I'm gonna check that again, I think it's 20 minutes. So remember we are following another recipe because so, we are test testing everything online so they look great. So we are gonna wait and see. So my, uh, my oven is at... Two hundred degrees, both uh, bottom and up, and then it's been on for the past ten minutes. No, I think it's been uh, around twenty minutes. So I'm gonna just know when it reaches twenty minutes. So yeah. So here is the bread sliced up. I just put some blue band. So yeah, um, I'm gonna take this one that I have, so you can see it's not that thick, but I didn't have um, that bread container to bake in, so that's why I did this French bread. It's brown from top to bottom, so a little bit crunchy on the top. But that's okay, considering the fact that it's yeast, after it set, settles down for like um, overnight, because this is for breakfast tomorrow, it will be soft. So I'm not worried about that. So you should try it. Oh, and it's very tasty. You can 
taste the sugar and the salt it's very good I wouldn't change a thing on this one I wouldn't change a thing it's a win French bread will be my go-to kind of bread I will not buy um, breads anymore if it's that easy so that's the final product thanks for watching remember to subscribe and wait for more recipes bye